Hello, my dear fellows. It's me, Dr. Delohab Ahmed Al Morsi, a professor of forensic medicine and the clinical toxicology, and member of medical education department, Mansoura Faculty of Medicine. It's a great pleasure to present my booster uh, at, uh, in front of all of you. It is about basic life support as a faculty development program for medical and paramedical staff. Basic life support training is not a formal part of the faculty development. Most of the staff members, even in medical schools, didn't import this essential training. The importance of this program stems from the high incidence of cardiac arrest being faced, a case every 45 seconds. So acquisition of BLS knowledge and the skill is mandatory to all people, despite their background, and this training will increase the rate of survival of cardiac arrest patients. The project aimed to train medical and paramedical staff on basic life support, life-saving techniques such as cardiopulmonary resuscitation and recovery position to increase awareness and improve the quality of, of life. Subject and methods. Cross-sectional study will be conducted on medical and paramedical staff to assess their knowledge before and after training on BLS by using pre- and post-training structured questionnaire as an assessment score. This questionnaire was adapted from pre-tested questionnaires uh, to be valid that have been used previously in similar studies in India and Saudi Arabia. The questionnaire includes general information, knowledge of participants about BLS and their experience with BLS. The course will be conducted virtually by ERC instructor according to European Resuscitation Council guidelines 2015 to assess the knowledge before and after training. And here are some examples of the questions included in the questionnaire. The current action, I will get uh, go level down uh, with my project and assess the knowledge as a beginning and begin with the medical staff, getting the approval of IRB, preparing the virtual on, uh, course, and then during the course, uh, collect the pre-course questionnaire, conducting the online training, and then collect the post-course questionnaire, analysis of the data and the interpretation of the result, and finally writing the paper and publication. The future plan to continue the online training during COVID-19 pandemic and when the face-to-face -face courses is uh, coming back, uh, then I will uh, begin hands-on training on mannequin at the Skills Lab at Mansoura Faculty of Medicine and then will apply the course on paramedical staff as well. Thank you for uh, listening and goodbye.